and his son Jesus Christ, who has given you this loss, abide in me. And if you abide in the word of God, you will reign and you will change. If you abide in the word of God, and if you do it, your love will never remain the same. For he will call you my daughter and my son. He is saying to you, you are my son, you are my daughter. If only you trust in me, if only you believe in my name, if only you do my way, if only you do my, you learn my commandments and do them, then I will save you. When you pray, I will hear from above. And if you do that, you will receive blessings from the hand of your father. If you disobey your father, your heavenly father, whatever you ask him, he will deny you. But this is the God of heavens. This is the Lord of lords and the king of kings who doesn't lie. God is not a son to lie, nor to say things and later on changes his mind. He's the Lord that I'm talking about. He's the Messiah who died for me and you, who rose again on the third day. And he's sitting at the right hand side of his father and telling you and me, ask of me, call on me, and I will answer, and I will hear, and I will deliver. Whom are you calling? Run for people. I stand here as a servant of God. We stand here as servants of the living God. And the Lord said, I should ask you, whom do you serve? Whom are you following? Are you following the laws of the land? Or you are following the laws of God? The Lord God Almighty, who created you in your mother's womb and put you. He knows your name. He knows where you sleep. He knows everything that you say. He knows your thoughts. He knows your heart. He knows all about you. He is calling you today. If you hack into his voice and run to this father, whose name is Jesus Christ, he will deliver you. He will save you. He will set you free from everything that you are doing. He will set you free from your crime, from your lying tongues, from your drug addiction, from your womanizing, from your uh, immoral sex, from everything that you are doing, because he is a holy God. Our God is a holy God. Our God is a God of all flesh, who changeth not. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And it says in Psalm 1, Blessed is a man who does not walk in the counsel of wicked, or stand in the way of sinners, or sit in the seat of mockers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. Which, which law? Which of the laws do you obey? Which of the laws? Are you obeying God's law, his son's law, or the laws of the land? If you are able to obey the laws of the land, then tonight I came to announce to you, you better read the law of the Lord God Almighty. The laws of Jesus Christ is only son, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. He said, if you remain in me, and my word remains in you, ask me anything, and I will do it. Abide in the Lord, if you abide in him, and his word abides in you, and you do them, and you remember that is the living God, is the God of all flesh who died for your sin, then you will know the truth is in God. The only truth that you will see is in Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the son of the living God. Run for people tonight, he will hack into the voice of God and draw closer to God. He will draw closer to you. Amen. He said, but his delight is in the Lord of the Lord. The law that the Lord gave to Moses. He said, Moses, my servant, I've given you this law. Go and tell my people. Go and tell them. If they obey in my laws and my commandments that I've written to you today, to go and declare to them, they should change their minds. They should change their thoughts. They should change their ways and come to me and do the things that I've written in the book of the law. And I will save them. Are you ready? Ranford, are you ready? People of Ranford, Ranford community, are you ready to go to Jesus? Are you ready to die with the Lord God Almighty in his son? Are you ready because Jesus came? He was born through the Virgin Mary to save us from our sin so that we, can, we shouldn't live in sin again. But if you live 
you say, believe that he's a living God. He's the God of gods and not the God of the idols. Not the God of the wicked. Not the God of those who doesn't know him. If you, if you don't know him, he knows your name. He knows where you sleep. He knows where you dwell. He will deliver you. He will you obey his laws. He said, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. Are you delighting in the laws of the Lord? Or the laws of the world? Or the laws of the governments? Or the laws of anyone who respects to your ear? This is the way, walk in it. God is saying to you, he has given you his son. And his son is telling you today, this is the way. This is the way, walk in it. If you walk in the path of Christ, if you walk to his footsteps, if you ask him, Lord, I am lost here. Jesus, I am lost. Whom should I follow? Where should I go? He will answer you. And he's saying to you, this is the way, walk in it. If you walk in the light of God, if you obey his laws and commandments, and you walk in it, you will be blessed. Because he has said it. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked. Which counseling are you having? Who has counseled you? What instructions have you received from the government? Or from your father? From your ancestors? From your forefather? So that you cannot draw closer to God. Jesus is calling you today. Ramford people. Ramford people. Community of Ramford. Jesus is calling you tonight. Tonight we stand here as the servant of the living God. We have come to preach the gospel of truth. The good news is being preached to you. Therefore, do not hesitate. Do not harden your heart. Today is your salvation. And your salvation is now. 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 Do not walk in the counsel of the wicked people. But let your delight, let your heart, delight be in Christ. Believe in the Lord your God and believe in the servant that he has sent. We are here to declare to you that we have a living God, a God of sense, wonders and miracles, a God who can change your situation, a God who can speak to your mind and your heart so that you will not be a womanizer, so that you will not be a, 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 the, the, the child of the devil because the devil hasn't got any good news for you. Devil hasn't got any good news for you. The only good news that you will receive is through the word of God. It's be through his laws and commandments. God is a living God. He says, you will be like a tree. If only you delight in the will of the Lord. If only your delight is in the law of the Lord. And on his law, you meditate day and night. If you read the word of God and you meditate in it day and night, you will, your way will be prosperous. Your way, you will be like a tree planted by the streams of river, which withers not, which leaves will not wither, but it shall still remain fresh and green. That is, you will remain fresh and green. Because you, your delight is in the laws of the Lord. And he will make a way where there seems to be no way. You will be like a tree planted by the streams of water. Which yields its fruits in its season. And whose leaves does not wither. Whatsoever you do will prosper. This is the word of God for you. If you follow him and do his will and you do not walk in the way of the sinners, then whatever you do will prosper. If you want your God to bless you, then you have to know the truth. And the truth will only be found in his law, which is the Bible. God said to Moses, this is my book of law. Let my people know. Let them read it day and night. He said to Joshua, according to Joshua, Joshua 1, nine and eight and nine he said this book of the law my servant joshua i have called you you are the second command if you are whoa you are going to do this job that i have given to moses now moses will go he's going to come to me 